So I'm working on a new uh, project type thing, and this project is uh, basically a base for fake clients. And if you don't know what a fake client is, it's basically a bot that's pretending to be a real player. And Source Engine treats it as a real player, Gary's Mod treats it as a real player, it basically shows up as a real player. Just like the add-ons like new bot, whatever bots, lead bot, which is a GitHub add-on, all that sorts of good stuff. Now, even though fake clients in code are technically classified as next bots, they do not work the same as next bots at all. <laughs> so, uh there's a lot of interesting new things you have to do to get these guys to work, and I can't blame the uh, makers of like Newbot or any other like fake client add-on, because it's just it's just ridiculously uh, confusing if you don't know what's going on in the code. So. Yeah, it's a little bit more of a challenge to get, get these guys to work than, like, what the Zetas had. Now, let's get to the base part of it. I plan to make it as easy as possible to make fake clients and make it as close as uh, the workflow of making next bots. So it'd be just like easy to transfer from making a next bot to a fake client because they'll generally have the same workflow and I'll show you once it uh, shows it you can see I got a custom hook here this gets called self was killed by attacker inflector and it'll kick itself after it dies this this is so I don't have to kick it myself when I need to respawn it to add new data. A unhurt hook, which makes it just play pain sounds at the moment. A think hook, and a threaded think, which most of this stuff will be put in. Oh, excuse me. And you can see in this hook, it's weird to look at. At least in my opinion, none of you are pro most of you are probably not even coders or so, but it's awfully weird to look at. But I'll show you them now. Don't mind the error there. And there he is. He's coming after me. I have his pathfinding to uh, update every 0.5 seconds, but you can see he's following that. He's not actually pathfinding himself. That little Clorox bleach bottle is doing all the work. <laughs> he's just following it. Of course, it looks it looks a little weird, but hey, what can you do? I'll try to make it. So I need to make it so the uh, bleach bottle uh, does a better job at knowing uh, if it's past a uh, point or not. But you can see he's running at me. If I shoot him, he makes pain sounds. It's all good and stuff. And when I kill him, he's just gone. That's it. He's just out of here. <laughs> Let me go in here. There's there's a bunch of uh, default functions I'm working on. Let's let us get the uh, attack one function and put it here. We'll put it here actually. We'll set it to true and we'll make them fire every zero point five zero point. Zero five seconds. And this will make him attack like that. He 
ground ammo, that idiot. Or something. And... Let's see. We'll make him also face me too, so he'll start, like, attacking me of sorts. At least face... Entity 1, which is me. Now all the functions are named Glace underscore. Why is that? It's because, uh, just to make sure there's nothing that could possibly override these. So, let us spawn him down again. He picked the worst possible weapon. There you go. He's trying, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> Let me just uh, change something about about that real quick. This will make it so he will aim at my center of my body. That's a terrible weapon. Well, but he'll he'll hurt me, or well he'll try to. Yeah. Okay, he actually will kill me by that. Oh come on! For the second time already. Oh jeez. And you can see, yeah. It works. It it's working like a next bot, and I have to say the way it's uh, moving, like backwards and stuff, and sideways, that was that took me like hours to figure out. I just figured that out like a few moments ago. He's actually gonna kill me. Oh my! And you can see he just absolutely demolished me. And he's gonna do it again! Not this time. <laughs> but yeah, once again, this is a base on making uh, fake clients easier and to feel like you're just making normal neck spots and stuff which I will be using this to uh, someday maybe uh, make murder bots that's that would be my first thing I'd tackle and as we know there are murder bots on the workshop but from the people I've heard it's not that good and I, I can't blame the creators of it if it's not that impressive and stuff. Because this is uh, pretty confusing and just hard to work with. So, there was a lot of. I can tell there was probably a lot of effort put into those murder bots. And the creator just went through a lot of things just to get those guys to work. But hopefully, this would make that entire process a whole lot easier and stuff. And I can't wait till we actually get to the point to where this base is complete and I could uh, make some murder bots if possible. So yeah, that'll be interesting. That's all I gotta show for now. I'll be keeping updates on this uh, base sometimes. Which, there will be a lot of updates on this after I f release the uh, final scheduled update of the Zeta players. Which is the building system for them. So yeah, until then, this is what I got so far.